good day. Sometimes Albion gets a little bit boring. In order to bring fun entertainment, we come up with different challenges to spice it up. That's one of these moments. Magdon created a new way of playing Albion, the hardcore characters. When you create a character, you can play the game just fine, but with one little twist. You have only one life, and if you die, you have to delete the character. The moment I saw it, I knew. I had to do it. But playing without goal was pretty sad. Well, I had to come up with one. The first goal was to pretty much unlock tier 8. You know, it takes a few hours nowadays, so I had to set a second goal, which was to hit 100 spec on the set. Much better, but just in case I survive, I decided to go full 8.4 set. The goals were set, and it was the time to venture into the game. After selecting the character, name had to be defined. Perfect. Once I ventured into the game, the current short-term goal was to collect some extra rough stone, so I had enough money to buy myself a set once I hit royals. The tutorial was finally completed. For the aesthetics, I joined the Hardcore Guild. Since I was in the open world now, it was time to level some weapon. I took 3 days of premium and traveled to Lumhurst. Of course, any rough town is a treasure for now, so I collected some more on our way to city. I killed one roaming mob, and I was heavily surprised. Just one mob was enough to unlock tier 3 reaver. All that I had from tutorial had to go. Right now our economy is non-existent, so every silver coin helped. With 9000 silver, I bought myself a nature staff and soldier helmet. I had no money to buy the rest, so I ventured into the black zone and killed some mobs. A few mobs wasn't really hard and tier 3 nature was unlocked. I also bought myself a tier 3 torch and almost complete tier 4 set. Some more silver had to be collected to buy a horse and quarter staff, so I killed some mobs and managed to get my first loot. This should definitely improve an economy. The next mob pack was pretty tough and I almost got killed, but I managed to reset mobs and I found one extra item. There was a tomb of insight, so I had enough money to buy myself a horse and a quarter staff. Also, I bought myself a torch and evil double bladed staff. I sold soups I had from the beginning and bought some omelets. Now I'm 100% was set, ready to go. On my first enemy, I managed to get knocked. Yeah, I played so badly. Luckily, the guy who was nearby didn't try to kill me. After finishing the mob, I unlocked an entire tier 4 set. Now just needed a double bladed. Well, it wasn't that long. There it is. The next task was to unlock Cartwheel and Stun Run. I needed it to increase my chances of escape. And for that reason, I decided to go miss. This is the best fame for a freshling. Just a few seconds later, and I already encountered some kind of bug. Oh, it's freezing again. Uh, hello? 
Can I move? Please? Anything? Come on. So on that maze they found not one, but two bosses. That was quite a huge boost to quarterstaff levels. Later, I decided to clear a small camp, so I pulled them up closer to it, and some guy came close. He tried to put me in combat with him, so I didn't use any abilities. Then he dismounted. I finished them up and mounted up. But then... Wait, 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 wait. let's go back a little bit. What was that? Yeah, that's another bug that forces you to dismount if you mount it up just before the silver drops. Then I simply continued to level my quarterstaff. On the way home, I found a dead body. Someone left some tools and fish inside. Just what I needed. A few minutes later, I started consuming the fish. The reason was to level fishing. Why? So I could unlock the Fisherman's Gap. Just like Assassin's Jacket, Fisherman's Gap has ambush ability, but it also has higher HP and defense boost. The fishing was unlocked, and it was time to buy the gob and upgrade the build. While I already had an ambush, the cat wheel on Double Bladed wasn't there yet, so I went miss, but here I found an abbey. And as you know, abbey offers insane loot and nice fame. Since I needed loot, I focused on the nature. Well, at least I got a tier 5 unlocked. The dungeon was finished, and I got myself some nice fame and loot to upgrade the set straight to tier 6. The IP now was somewhat okay for tier 6 group dungeon. And in one of them I got myself a tier 6 nature unlocked. That was my first group dungeon loot, and it was a matter of time before I reached my goal now. But that's a story for the next time.
Well, that was the last item needed. The three set goals were achieved. The tier 8 mastery, the hunger is back, an 8.4 set. The story of yet another player ends here. But rumors say they still walk among us.